there are three kinds of circulation. Mm -hmm. Everyone refers to their circulation. They're usually meaning their arterial circulation, mm -hmm. the heart pumping the blood out to the extremities. But there's also your vein circulation. The muscles of the legs squeeze these systems of veins mm -hmm. that are like upside down bushes. Right. The blood goes whooshing up, mm -hmm. much like if you squeezed a wet bar of soap. Shoots up, and the valves keep the blood from falling back down under gravity. Mm -hmm. The third circulation are the lymphatics, delicate little channels that drop by drop remove a gallon of fluid from your legs and protein every day. Three circulations. There are three kinds of veins in your legs. You have the deepest veins. That's where you can get clots that go to your lungs. Okay. They have valves that can fail. Mm -hmm. You have about a hundred little shortcuts called perforators to the surface systems with a little valve keeping the blood going only one way into the deep system and you have these five upside down trees. Everybody has the same five. Uh, they're always in the same place. The greater saphenous, the one they used to strip down the inside of the leg to mm -hmm. the ankle. Small saphenous and Giacomini up the back of the thigh and the anterior and posterior accessory vein. Three of these systems, each with a trunk, branches mm -hmm. on the inside mm -hmm. mostly, and one out of ten branches are on the outside, and twigs little capillaries that under pressure inside leak fluid on the outside dilate up and become blue veins at the ankle and spider veins and, and little larger reticular veins on the surface of the leg. Now all vein work, everything in veins boils down to valves okay. and the pipes, right. the veins, mm -hmm. and gravity. The ugliest pictures, the worst legs are all the same as a little spider vein. The valves seem to fail from the periphery the littlest veins mm -hmm. up into the branches, some on the surface, mm -hmm. most inside, and then into the trunk. So if we, it's inside, how, how do you see them, Dr. Montcastle? The big th one of the big changes in vein work is a really accurate ultrasound. Mm. And not done lying down. Right. This is a gravity issue. Okay. okay. It was okay for 50 years to right. do a lying down blood ultrasound mm -hmm. and, and press a little bit up on the upper leg. You'd find valves in the greater softness, and that was fine. You never looked at the others anyway because there wasn't anything to do. Right. The stripping could only address the greater saphenous. Now we can look at all five of those veins in detail. And there's no guesswork. You have a valve problem or you don't. Right. You're pregnant or you aren't. It's right. yes or no. There's not no doctor holding up the light and saying, yeah. well, I think Thank in my opinion you right. probably have this. There's no probably about mm -hmm. it. We also use um, a piece of equipment that standardizes the squeeze and release and allows the ultrasonographer okay. to have both hands free to mm -hmm. manipulate the machine and get our ultrasound window perfectly on these difficult veins that are 40% of the pathology. And that's part of the tragedy. A lot of people think, well, I've had my veins stripped. Right. And yet I still have all these symptoms. Mm -hmm. There must not be anything that can be done. And yet there is. You need to look at those other four vein systems. The treatments have all changed. Mm -hmm. No more vein stripping. I think right. it should be against the law. I can't think of a single positive thing right. that vein stripping offers, that these simple inside the vein, endovenous mm -hmm. laser treatments mm -hmm. offer. And so yet, even though this is inside, it's, it's not surgical. This is a non-surgical no procedure. Okay. Everything in vein work is non-surgical. Mm -hmm. We, we, we say that these are elegant procedures. In medicine, to be elegant, uh, a procedure has to, first of all, not hurt. Mm -hmm. Few and far between. <laughs> everything we do takes about 20 minutes mm -hmm. and doesn't hurt. They have to be very, very safe, and they are. They have to not lay up at all. They have to always work. A patient said the other day, well, there's a fifth criteria. I said, what's that? It has to be paid for by insurance oh. or Medicare. <laughs> and they are. <laughs> because these are medical conditions. Right. 